guys, it's Mr. Lee Nice here. I hope you're doing well. I got a little bit of a different video uh, going on here. It is actually going to be an unboxing video. I don't do those very often, but this is by request. This is a package uh, straight from Australia. It was sent to me by Hardcore Hardware of Australia. And I, I just want to start with a big thank you uh, to those guys, uh, particularly uh, Roger. He contacted me on my Instagram page. And if you haven't seen uh, the Mr. Lee and I's Instagram, uh, page, please uh, check it out if you get a uh, minute because I got a lot of cool uh, project photos, knife photos, firearms, gear, a lot of cool stuff on there. But he contacted me of a photo I had of this is the LFK 02. Now I have a review up of this on YouTube that I did uh, over a year ago. Uh, this is a really cool knife, but another, uh, the other really I think is kind of neat is this particular model was discontinued. They went with some new models uh, this past year through 2014 to 2015. Now, I always really like the design of this knife, and I was really sad to see them stop making it, but it's really neat to see some of the newer stuff that they came out with. And then Roger contacted me, saw a picture of the LFK-02 that I had, and said, hey, you know, you want to get a look at some of the new LFK lineup? And I was like, absolutely, I'd love to. So this is one of the LFK models. As far as I know, this is the lfk 02 it's a, a three, and it has more of a, a belly in the blade, but uh, we'll see. You know, Roger may have surprised me, so we'll find out. So, so I, like I said, I don't do the unboxing very much. I thought it'd be fitting to use the LFK02 to crack it open, so here we go. Oh yeah, working like a charm. Like I said, just a really cool, cool knife overall. Alright, not so bad. Oh yeah. Very fun. Got some paperwork there. Oh no way. Oh he sent me uh they uh, hardcore hardware. They make a tactical pin. I'll push it out the bottom there. It's the TWI 02. Oh that's awesome. Man, I appreciate that. Very cool. Now let's open it up. Comes with a new ink cartridge. I saw these at the show in at Blade Show 2015, and I really wanted to get one, but I ended up not doing it, and it turns out it was a pretty good choice on my part. Man, that is really cool. So, man, thank you so much. That's awesome. Very cool. I, I like tactical pins. I have another review of a Voker Plus tactical pin. I still have it. I carry it regularly. Really love tactical pins. Really, really love them. So, man, that's that's awesome. Very cool. Let's put that put that out front there, and then that's that's a patch that I got from Blade Show 2014 right over there. Okay, let's see what we got here. LFK03. All right. Very cool. All right. Oh, another patch. These guys have some awesome patches. Here's the their zombie patch from Blade 2014. Here's the, the new one with the, the Rue with their uh, tomahawk. Man, that's awesome. Very cool patch. I'm very happy. Oh, man. Here, make sure I don't cut myself. Oh, there it is. That is the, that is the LFK 03. Now this one has the G10 handle scales. Let's check out the sheet here real quick and then I'll give a rundown on it. So I saw these online and I saw it at the show in Blade 2015. Oh man. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, very positive lock on that. Oh. Oh man, I'm in love. <laughs> It's a pretty cool knife, and it's got a tech lock. I'm a big fan of tech locks. Okay, so let's just do a quick, very quick comparison of the LFK02. Okay, so there's the 02. This is the newer model. This is the LFK03. So you got the 02 here. Very unique, a utilitarian style blade. And uh, set that aside there. And then we have the LFK03. This one has a deeper belly in it. Uh, they both have the really nice deep finger choil in there. But the other big thing that uh, Hardcore Hardware changed was they started getting away from the paracord wrapped the, with the resin coated handles and then they switched to a lot of the G10. And man, that is a really nice, uh, just a firm texture grip you get with that. I'm really, really excited to be doing some work with this knife. And then the sheath upgrades too. They went to a Kydex with a tech lock. They had a Cordura based uh, with an insert. Now I did really like the sheath. The only thing about it, there was just a slight bit of play on from that finger toil. 
there, but man, that is amazing. The uh, positive, the positive lock you get in there, and man, that just shoots right out of there. Holy cow, <laughs> that is really cool. I'm, I'm really excited. So there's a, so there's old school over here. That's some old school stuff, and then the new school, and that is exciting. Very cool. Very cool. Alrighty, so I'll just uh, wrap up with another thank you to Hardcore Hardware of Australia. Um, appreciate it, Roger. And uh, for all of you guys who watched out there, uh, stay tuned. There will be uh, a detailed and thorough review coming up of this uh, LFK03. Wow, just really happy, really excited. So thank you so much for watching. If you uh, really enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you can share it, do it as well. And if you can place a comment, I'd love to read it. And if you haven't subscribed, do that as well if you could. Thank you.